Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you the subtraction of numbers in decimal, octal, hexadecimal, and binary system. So when I work with the subtraction, okay, so usually we will write some two numbers. Let us take here the decimal system itself, which you are familiar, where R is equal to 10. Okay, so I'll just write here some 378.4 minus uh, 256.7 something like this I'm writing now what I want I want you to subtract these two numbers so before subtracting what I do I will write it as a minu end and this as a subtrial usually when we perform subtraction we will write the first number from which we have to subtract is a minu end and the number which we have to subtract is a subtrial so this is a minu end and this is a subtrial if I just compare these two numbers, I can clearly tell my minu end number is greater than subtrial end. You can make out, no? This number is bigger compared to this number. This is 378. This is 256. Forget about the negative sign. Okay. So when you compare the magnitudes, minu end is greater compared to the subtrial end. That is the inference that I can get. Whenever you have this situation, what do you do? You can straight away go for the subtraction. So when I'm subtracting here, what do you do? You will check. 4 minus 7, is it possible? It is not possible. Then what you do? You have to take a borrow from this level. So when you take borrow here, so since you are dealing with a decimal system, the value of the borrow is 10. The value of borrow, what you are taking, it is a 10. 10 plus this number, it is going to be 14 here. 14 minus 7, it is going to be 7 here. Hope you are 4 following it right so since you already took a borrow here this is no more 8 this has changed it to 7 because you took a borrow so now 7 minus 6 what is the 7 minus 6 it is 1 next we have here 7 so this 7 minus 5 7 minus 5 is 2 then 3 minus 2 is 1 so this is a number that we are going to so 1 to 1 dot 7 is a subtracted value is the idea okay? So any questions here? I'll take one more number with a octal system. Okay. Say, uh, or one more number with a decimal system itself I'll take. So here, this could be some uh, 568.3942.7. Uh, so this is a subtraction that I have to perform. Let me just uh, see what is a case here. So in this problem what we have this is the minor end this is the minor end this is a subtrial. Always the first number is going to the minor end the second number is a subtrial. Here if you just observe the case is like that minor end is smaller compared to the subtrial. You observe here the magnitude of this 568.3 is smaller compared to 942.7 so this is a case where minor end is a less than subtrial. So if this is the situation, what you have to do, you just do like this, you just rewrite this as 942.7 and then 568.3. You just swap this and write it. If you are encountering minor end is lesser than subtrial, you just swap these two terms. You swap here, this one with this. You, you got the idea, right? What I'm talking. So it just interchange this with this. Minor end and subtrial end are getting interchanged. Now we perform the subtraction. Now we perform the subtraction. So 7 minus 3, it is 4. Dot 2 minus 8, I cannot do. So what I do, I will take a borrow here. When I take a borrow, the value of borrow is a 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. So since you already took a borrow here, this is no more 4, it is going to be 3. 3 minus 6 I cannot do. So what I do? I will take a borrow from here. So when I take a borrow here, it's obviously a 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 minus 6. How much is the 13 minus 6? It is 7. So then since you took a borrow here, this is no more 9. This is 8. 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is how much? It is 3. And since you swapped this and the bigger number here it is carrying a minus sign so that minus sign i am going to attach here so the final result will be minus 374.4 so this is the hope you understood this right when you are performing subtraction 
first thing we have to check whether the minor end is greater than small subtrahend or minor end is smaller than the subtrahend. If it is greater, minor end is greater, you no need to swap anything. Direct you can do this one. Whereas here, when you when you find the subtrahend is bigger compared to the minor end, you just swap these two numbers and then you perform the subtraction the way that what you did earlier. Okay. I hope this part is clear for you. Correct. Now we will move to the other system. How we can perform subtraction in hexadecimal and octal and binary systems? Let us move to the that part. So I will just take now one number here. So in uh, say I'll just go with a hexadecimal system. We are generalizing here. We are not restricting to any number system. We are generalizing. So here the R value is equal to sixteen. So when I say hexadecimal, R value is equal to 16. And now let us take some numbers here. So A F 2 dot C minus um, 935 dot 4. So these are the two numbers that I have. And I have to perform subtraction here in hexadecimal. See how simple it is. So what I do now? So I have to take now. This has a minor end, this is a subtrahend. Can you just uh, say here minor end is greater compared to the subtrahend? How will you identify that? You have to just go with the most significant bit. So I call this as a this position as a most significant bit and this position as a least significant bit. If you just compare the most significant bits of the two numbers, a value is 10 and this is 9. So since the 10 is greater compared to 9, I can say the whole big, the top number is going to be greater. So it is a minor and greater than subtract. Now let us do the subtraction. How will you do the subtraction? C. What is the value of C? As I told here, C value is 12. You observe here, C value is 12. So 12 minus 4, it is going to be 8. Then 2 minus 5. Is it possible for you to subtract 2 minus 5? It's not possible. To take a borrow. So what is the value of borrow here? The borrow value is 16. Why it is 16? Because you are dealing with a hexadecimal system. You have seen here, so since you are dealing with a decimal system, the borrow value was 10. So since you are dealing with hexadecimal system, the borrow value is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. 18 minus 5. What is 18 minus 5? It is 13. So what is the value of 13? 13 is a D. 13 is a so I'll write here, I hope you are able to make out, right? 16 plus 2 is 18, 18 minus 5 is 13. The value of 13 in hexadecimal is D. Observe here, yeah. so that's where I have written D. Now, since you took a borrow from here, this is no more F. So what is the one number below F? It is E and the value is 14. I can write here, this is no more 15, it's a 14. You know what it is, right? So F is reduced to 1 that is e e means it is 14 f is 15 so 14 minus 3 how much is that 11 what is the value of 11 11 is b so you observe here it's a b then a a is of course 10 10 minus 9 is 1 1 bd dot 8 is the answer if you subtract these two numbers now let us take one more example here itself i'll take one more example so that example could be uh, i'll be taking some 9 a b dot c d here it could be some b 3 7 dot 4 a some random numbers i'm just choosing and just to see how we can perform the subtraction so here when i observe this the most significant bit if i just observe this is 9 and what is this this is going to be 11 b is equal to what 11 you see here b is equal to 11 so obviously the most significant bit the below number is having a bigger number compared to the top number so i can say here the situation what we are encountering is minor end is smaller compared to the subtrahend whenever you encounter this situation what you what you have to do as i told you just swap these numbers so you just write b 37 dot 4a here and then you write 9ab dot cd here then you perform the subtraction okay 
Now let us see how we can perform this subtraction. A, A minus B, is it possible for us to do this A minus B? Let me just copy this letter. Okay, now let us do this subtraction. See here, a minus d, a value is 10, d value is 13. Is it possible for me to subtract? It is not possible, right? 10 minus 13 is not possible. So what I do here, I will just take a borrow from here. So when I take a borrow here, what's the value of borrow? It is 16 because we are dealing with a hexadecimal system. 16 plus a, it is 10. 16 plus 10 is 26. 26 minus 13, d value is 13. So it is going to be 13 and I can write it as D. Are you, are you following this? 16 plus 10, it is 26 because A value is 10. 26 minus D, D value is 13. 26 minus 13. So it's going to be 6, 1, uh, sorry, 3, 1. 13 and again, I'll compare this. It is D. So then here, since you already took a borrow, so this is no more 4, it is 3. So now, 3 minus C, C value is 12. I cannot subtract 12 from the 3, so I'll take a borrow here. So when I take a borrow, it's again a 16. 16 plus 3, it's 19. 19 minus C, 12. So it is 19 minus 12. How much is that? So it is a 7. So I can write 7 here. So here, since I took a borrow, it is no more 7. It is a 6. So now 6 minus B, I cannot do because B is 11. So take a borrow. So it's going to be 16, 16 plus 6, it is 20. Uh, oh, how much is that? 22, correct? So 22 minus 13. So it's going to be some 22 minus 13. How much is that? So this you have to do in subtraction in the decimal. So 22 minus 13 is 12 minus 3 is, how much is that 12 minus 3? Nine, huh? Correct, no? 22 minus 13 is 9. So 9 I can just write here. Then here since you already took a borrow, so you will be subtracting by 1. That is, it is 2 now. So 2 minus A I cannot do. 2 minus 10 is not possible. Again take a borrow. 16 plus 2. It is 18. 18 minus 10. It is 8. So now already you took a borrow here. So it is no more B, it is A. A value is 10, 10 minus 9 is 1. So wherever dot is there, you put the dot. And negative sign you attach because your bigger number is negative number. Hope you are able to make out this. Any difficulty here? That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you.